what's good everybody it's your girl jacayla a and i'm back in this bitch again with another freestyle set on my friend we're doing a long coffin it was basically an easy coffin method because it was a stiletto and we just cut the tip off of it to make it a coffin you saw me there tearing up the gold flake and you saw the money also we burned it we just took a dollar and we burned some of the pieces i took some like the prettier more floral pieces of the money and some of the one dollar symbols out of the money excuse me and we're going to encapsulate that into the nail we use some glitter acrylics and some clear acrylic this is really a simple design like this is really a simple easy thing to do but the hardest part is how do you get the money to stick when i first did this i was trying to get the money to stick in acrylic and it wasn't working for me some people can do that it wasn't working for me so i chose to use glue i've also seen people use gel and they have maybe like a small lamp so they can cure in between or cure as they go i didn't even try that method that probably would have worked as well but i didn't do that i ended up using um zule nail adhesive but you'll see that a little bit later right now i got this primer it's always it's young nails protein bond it is the only primer i use my favorite primer you can't lose with this so we did the young nails protein bond my brush is a size 12 tony lee nails is in the description my dapping dish is from glitter planet it's a very big like three ounce maybe four dapping dish i'm using glam and glitz monomer i'm not gonna say it's the only monomer i use but it's definitely my favorite and my clear is young nails clear i just bought the really really big young nails i think it's called core clear it's not the speed clear and but you know clear is clear that's how i see it even made me a secret clear that i was using before young nails clear if you put a little bit of acetone in the monomer perfect perfectly acceptable product i didn't have any issues with that product but i wanted to try something new and i really love young nails products young nails probably has my favorite formula of acrylic they definitely have my favorite formula of acrylic i could say that for sure i wish they had a whole bunch of colors and i would just be trying to buy them all but we're gonna put down a little bit of clear not really much at all just enough to protect the nail and make it so that we're not gluing money and putting encapsulated pieces on a nail bed that obviously is not something that we want to do we want to make sure there's a layer of clear now we're going to put all our pieces in the middle and then we're going to go really thick with the clear on top and y'all will see my struggle and how encapsulating these nails and clear really like did it to me you'll see it a little bit later So basically what I'm doing is putting down a little bit of glue. I'm taking one corner of the money piece and I'm putting it down in a section. I'm holding it down with a wax pencil or a cuticle pusher, letting it dry a little bit and then putting down some more glue and folding the other piece over. Some of the pieces were small enough that I could just put both of my hands over them and hold them for a second this zule nail adhesive ended up being the perfect thing to accomplish this 
look with because it dried so fast so it was the perfect thing to put my hands are kind of sticking but it was the perfect thing to put down to glue something to a nail obviously it, it's a bling glue it's literally a bling adhesive so it worked perfectly adhering this money into the nail i had like zero complications with it the only thing is that you don't want to put too much down because in order for it to dry so so fast you want to lose a use a thin coat and that thin layer that i used i didn't have any problems with like at all so highly love this nail adhesive would recommend
So now it's time to adhere the money pieces to the nail and add the gold accents. I have two different acrylic powders that I'm using to adhere the money to and they're both a glitter. One of them is Glamour Nail Supply AB Glitter in number three and one of them is 24 Karat from Glam and Glitz. So I have a gold glitter and then I have a glitter that is a AB but it, it very it leans gold so that's specifically why I used it because I thought it would complement the gold foil and the other gold glitter but also add a different element so I'm putting that down sporadically marbling it however you want to say I'm just making sure that I get some hints of gold in each nail and then I'm putting down pieces of gold glitter and I'm sporadically doing that there's no rhyme or reason and I think this looks better when there is no rhyme or reason i just don't want to cover up the money too much but you really want every single finger to look different there is no real uniformity to how you're doing it and i think it just will look cuter that way anyway now it's time to cap when i'm doing this i'm also like talking to my friend like i'm not really focusing in but when it came to foul that hurt me in the end because i had to foul these nails a lot that's not all going to be in a video because it was such a long fouling process fouling process that i cut so much of it out of the video but i was capping entirely too wet i was capping way too wet so i kept having to go back and get more clear and yes, you're building the nail, so to a certain extent, you're going to have to use quite a bit of product because you have a thin, thin, thin layer of clear and all of these pieces. And so you're basically building the nail at this point because you don't have anything there. But I still was capping way too wet and my brush was just getting real ooky. I was just trying to get out of the situation so we both can go home. She's hungry and it was just like I was just trying to move quickly so that we can get out of the situation and i think that's also what had me um taking so long to do this clear process i didn't keep it on the video either because it would be such a long video but if i was drying more of the beads or taking smaller drier beads i would have just been in a better place take your time when you're capping don't you know mess up the nail and don't do it sloppily as i am doing here because it hurt me in the end and maybe you'll see a little bit of it i forgot if i kept some of it in or not but when the nails were finished being um built with the clear like right before i filed them they look so bad so i had to really really work to get them to the state in the end to get them you know to the finished product that i got in the end 
I really, really, really had to work them. So if I would have took more time and been more careful with building the nail and not so impatient with myself, then I would have been in a better situation and it would have took as long as it took to build the nail for sure. Look at these nails, lumpy and bumpy. I had to work so hard with these nails to file them down. I cut most of the filing time because I just think that's kind of boring and it was such a long process. I didn't think y'all was going to want to see it. But 100, 100 grit on the hand file and I am just working these nails. I saw the after effect after I had laid down the acrylic. I was like, man, why did I do that so sloppy? Why did I do that like that? So now we are really about to be here and I'm really about to be like working to get these crispy and to get those lumps and bumps out of this nail but you know you live you learn patience is a virtue you got to be a little bit more patient with yourself and i should have worked smarter because now i'm in the filing, filing process and i'm working harder just to do this one little nail and the next one after that was probably the worst one look at that terrible y'all terrible but I did end up getting to a place that I really like. I ended up getting to look at how much it's shaking. Y'all understand I was doing work on these nails. I'm shaking the whole table. I'm shaking the camera. Yes, look at that shake of the camera. I be filming on my phone and my phone is shaking, baby, because it is just I was going hard. <laughs> I was going real hard. But here I am. Just a little bit of footage on how I was um uh, filing with the cross cut bit. I think this would have actually, oh my gosh, I didn't even think of this in the, when I was doing it. But this was a time for me to use the carbide bit. This was definitely a time for me to break out the carbide bit because I was filing for my life. And I still didn't end up with like the best result that I wanted. But I was really filing. I definitely should have used the carbide bit. If you buy this um, bit, which I love, it's one of my favorites, I will recommend, highly recommend but it it does not really break down acrylic or really remove bulks of acrylic so if you have a sloppy application like me which you shouldn't because you shouldn't be you know just throwing things together like i was but if you have a sloppy application and you know you have to file for your life to clean up the nails and to get that shape back then you definitely want to use something a lot rougher and tougher and this cross cut bit is so gentle and that's also why i like it because if the application is already there and you're already doing so good and you don't need something that's really going to be harshly filing the nail, you just want to clean it up, maybe smooth it out. This is what that cross cut bit does. But I didn't even think, y'all, I did not change up to my carbide bit. I just kept going and I worked this baby and I just worked it and worked it and worked it and... Like I said, eventually I got to something that I was happy with, but it could have been better. 
So I'm just telling y'all that so y'all don't make those same mistakes because I definitely could have did a better job with application and with filing. All right, 10 years later, the filing is done. I'm using this IBD gel top coat. It is so thick. It is so lush. I've used it probably on like seven clients and I feel like it's already gone or like it's already a little bit coming out of the brush when I put it in there. So it does not last that long and I haven't even had it for that long. So it's definitely something that I see that I'll have to repurchase more often than my regular Beatles top coat that I use that I find on Amazon. I also found this IBD gel on Amazon, but my local nail supply store has it too. So it's really popular. It's a very known brand. Like I've known about it for a long time. I know you can find it a bunch of places, but that's just two places that I get it. But it is kind of pricey. I still think I might rebuy it. It's like $15 in comparison to the one that I use. It's probably like eight. So no. It's a little pricey for me, but it is worth it. It looks like glass finish. And, you know, in the spots of this nail, that, um, in the spots of the nail that we don't have the design or we don't have the money or the encapsulated pieces aren't there and it just looks clear, it literally makes it look like glass. If you're doing glass nails, you specifically need this really thick hyper shine top coat if you're going to do a glass nail like it's a very pretty top coat. And then if you did like two layers of it, oh baby, it would be so cute. Some glass nails with two layers of this top coat would be so cute. But make sure when you're doing the top coat that you get underneath in any type of clear nail, always get underneath. It's going to add that glass effect and it'll just bump up that glass effect. So we did that. We let them cure for 30 seconds. I did the other hand. I used my gelish... Um, cuticle oil that i get off of amazon any cuticle oil that you use i also put some lotion on the hands and i just rub them in that fur prop underneath is for my photos that i take on instagram my ig is below jk beauty with two y's it's my ig follow me there and that's the finished look y'all i was really happy with these nails i was telling my friend like oh my god i wish these was my nails you can kind of see the imperfections that i was speaking about with the application so make sure you take your time be patient with yourself and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye.